Celebrity chef Paula Dean is breathing a sigh of relief today. On Friday, the racial discrimination and sexual harassment lawsuit against her was dismissed when both sides agreed to a settlement. But the whole thing was a disaster for her career. The question is, can she bounce back? Michelle Franzen takes a look. All right, now here we go. The lawsuit brought by a former restaurant manager singed the queen of Southern cooking. But they're going to be flavored. Allegations of sexual harassment and racial discrimination. Charges now dismissed over the course of several weeks, leaving Paula Dean in the clear. In a statement, the chef said, I am pleased that the judge dismissed the race claims, and I am looking forward to getting this behind me now that the remaining claims have been resolved. All right, now in these go. Now the question of what's next for Dean. Dean's $17 million empire unraveled after details of her deposition were released where she admitted making racial slurs while denying the claims in the lawsuit. I'm sure the attorneys and Paul Dean didn't quite understand how damaging this case would become based on her depositions, which were a disaster for Paul Dean and a disaster for her career. I spoke. Dean bailed on a scheduled interview on Today and followed that up with a series of taped apologies. I beg for your forgiveness. And then she did appear on Today in an emotional interview. I have never with any intention hurt anybody on purpose, and I never would. But her big name sponsors and endorsement deals melted away. Brand experts say with her loyal following, she's able to make a comeback. In the end of the day, having a loyal base, having a loyal customer base, having a loyal audience is the key thing to economic success. I think she can come back and be a strong brand again. Meanwhile, the former manager who filed the suit issued a statement Friday saying she since learned her initial complaints never reached her boss, adding, the Paula Dean I have known for more than eight years is a woman of compassion and kindness and will never tolerate discrimination or racism of any kind toward anyone. For today, Michelle Franzen, NBC News, New York.